Merry Christmas, youth. So crazy to be saying that, but we are so close, about a week away. So I'm excited to continue with our Power of With series, Christmas edition. <laughs> so have you ever thought or looked up what your name means? It isn't custom really today, but centuries ago, people were named things because of what they meant. Where today, a lot of times, your parents just liked how a name sounded, or maybe you were named after a relative, but the meaning didn't have a lot to do with it. So I actually looked up a couple of your names, just in case you weren't sure. So Lewis means famous warrior. There you go, Lewis. Sincere means that you're honest. Rachel can mean little lamb or one with purity. Daniel means God is my judge. And Abigail means my father's joy. Or Brittany means a land of England. So great. So I'm really hoping that my parents didn't name me that because of the meaning. So maybe again, your parents just loved your name. That's okay. But when Jesus came on the scene, names mattered. People were named things because of what they meant. So did you ever know though that God named himself? So there's this story when the angel comes to Mary and says like, hey, you're gonna give birth to the son of God and you are to name him Jesus. And then the angel comes to Joseph in a dream and again tells him like, hey, Mary, who you're about to marry, he's gonna marry Mary, say that one five times fast, is going to have birth and you are to name your son Jesus. And in Matthew 1, 23, it actually says this. So this is the angel still speaking to Joseph. It says, look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel. So that was Jesus's name, Emmanuel, which means God with us. See, God could have chosen any name, right? He could have picked any name that meant a bunch of different things. He could have picked a name that meant warrior. Maybe he would have named himself Lewis. Or he could have picked a name that meant king or prophet or savior or friend. But what did God want us to know about his character through his name? The one thing God wanted everybody to know when he entered into creation as a baby, as Jesus, was that he is a God that is with his people. Emmanuel, God with us. Because see, in Jesus's time, even if people only heard the name, they would have known like, oh, that's interesting. Like Emmanuel, like you believe in a God that is with you. It meant something. It carried weight that God picked this name. So I want to remind us today, especially in this Christmas season, how special and important it is that we serve a God that not only came into creation, into what he made as a baby, but he came with the name Emmanuel. He came with a name that would always remind us every time we say it, that we serve a God that chooses to be with us. That we don't just serve a God that does things for us, but that he is with us. That his name means that. God chose the power of the word with to be in his very title, in the name that he carries. So we would always know we are not alone. We are not forgotten. So even in the holidays that maybe look very different this year, or maybe seasons change and go, and maybe Christmas actually just isn't the most wonderful time for you, that's okay. God is still Emmanuel. His name has never changed. It never will. Scripture tells us he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is always Emmanuel, always. So today I wanna just chat about what does it actually mean for us to believe that God is with us? Why does it matter that God chose this name and how does it actually change our perspective of who Jesus is to us, especially at Christmas time? So let me pray for you guys before we dive in and chat. God, I am so thankful for this time of year. I'm so thankful that you chose to enter in to your creation to save 
us to come as a baby of lowly means in a manger to just young parents, God, but you came with a name that said you are with us, that you would never leave us, that if all we walk away with today is knowing that you are with us, that's enough. So God, I just pray for every student, wherever they're at, every leader, even if this is a season that's really hard and painful and full of heartache, that God, they know you are with them. And even if it's a season for others that is filled with joy and family and friends, that you're still with them. So God, we love you. We thank you for coming into this world to be near to us, to be with us. We just ask that you would bless every person in this season. God, that you would draw even closer, that the word with would truly change how we see you. So God, we love you and we just ask all of this in Jesus' holy and mighty name, amen.